Hello ladies and gentlemen, and today I am going to be showing you how I got my favourite image from the Brecon Beacons. That'll be just after this. Hello ladies and gentlemen, now in last week's photo trip you saw me in the Brecon Beacons trying to take photos of uh, of the, the, the beacons themselves. I was in the Black Mountains actually um, and it was a brilliant trip. I really enjoyed it, had a great time, uh, got some good images but now I've got to, I've brought them back into Lightroom and I've got to do something uh, to actually edit them. So what are we going to do? Well let's jump into Lightroom and take a look. Now I've got all of the images, ignore this one. Uh, this is a just a little prep that I did so that I didn't have to spend ages messing around. But I'm going to show you this. Uh, okay, so uh, these are the different images that I took. I took five different images. These four up here and that one. Um, and each one of those is it gives us a little bit of the image that we want to uh, finally produce. And the image that we want to finally produce is that one down there. So how do we do that? If you've not seen this before, it's very simple. You select all of the ones that you want to edit in Lightroom. You right click, uh, you go to edit in, um, open as layers in Photoshop. That's what you do. Click on that and Photoshop is going to open up. Now I haven't done this beforehand, which I probably should have done. So Photoshop right now is, is opening up on the screen. Fun this, isn't it? Why don't I just cut to Photoshop being open? That'll be a lot easier. Okay, so this is Photoshop. I'm sure you're all aware of it. I'm sure you've all seen it before. And what I've got here is each one of the images that we're going to use. Now, um, what I've done in the past is I've taken five exposures, actually, but I've dumped two of them because really you only need three exposures to get you've, you've got three different levels here you've got this foreground you've got this middle ground here and you've got the the sky so the first thing I'm going to do actually I, I want to find the best sky which is either going to be that one or that one or a mixture of the two so I think we're going to do a mixture of the two here which might be quite interesting um and I also want to find the kind of the base image, which is this one actually up here. So the base image is going to be uh, what we're using uh, as a kind of a, a reference. Uh, reference is kind of wrong, I, I, I think. Uh, we'll put that right at the bottom of the layers just by, by dragging. Uh, we want to bring in the first sky, which is this one. Uh, and on this image, what we want to do here is highlight all of this along here, nice and simple. What I'm gonna do is go to select, modify, expand, and I'm just gonna give it two pixels of expansion. Then we're gonna to go to layer, layer mask reveal all. Uh, in fact, I should have done hide all, and we're gonna just drop that. So what we've got there is just the sky. That's what we've, uh, that's what we've selected there. Uh, we're going to also go onto this one, uh, open that up. Uh, layer, layer mask, hide all. So we're getting those images back there. Now, you see there's a big line running al uh, along there. I'll fix that in a moment, you see, because this isn't the final thing that we're doing. This is just giving us enough space to play around with. Um, right, okay, uh, so the sky, problems with the sky over here. Uh, we're gonna use our healing brush. Uh, again, nice and simple, just to, uh, oh, I haven't designed. I haven't defined the source. There we go. Like so, it doesn't quite look right. So let's go over here perhaps. There we go. And then here and there we go. So we've taken off the uh, vignetting. Nice and simple, not uh, not anything you have to do uh, a lot of. Um, this at the moment is just the sky. We also want to bring this in here and what we're gonna do uh, with this one, um, is to paint in uh, where we want to have the, the the sun really that was the big problem so we'll take the brush we'll put the hardness to zero the size you can alter on your um, uh, bracketing keys anyway 
and we're just going to uh, make sure we don't want white. And we're just going to bring in uh, some of some of the drama here. Uh, now, what I quite liked. Oops, try that again. Press P by mistake. What I quite liked with this uh, was some of the the way that the sky is quite dark, uh, and you can do that fairly simply just by painting that in. And if you get it wrong, you press the X button again, and then you just slowly paint stuff out. You can be playing around with this for absolutely hours, and I was when I did the original thing. But for now, I just wanted to show you this is the possibility. This is kind of how the process works, even if you don't do the full uh, the full process. We'll, um, is that, no, that's what we want to do. We'll sort of bring this in a bit like you'd bring in a, um, a what's it called? Uh, we also need to do a little bit of uh, healing on here as well, because of course uh, we've replaced some of this stuff. So let's do that and just that. So that, so that there's some shape and texture and color there. So what we've got now is we've got this bit and this bit. And the idea is that these nice blue bits here remain nice blue bits there. This nice, there's a lovely, there's a lovely bit of colour there, which I quite like. That's remaining there. Uh, and yet we've still got a, a really sort of dark definition in the clouds. That's kind of what I wanted. Now we're going to bring in uh, the uh, this bit here, like that. Um, and this is where we're going to fix this line as well. Uh, because what we'll want to do is to take our brush again. Uh, make sure that it's just check that. Yeah, make sure that it's white. Get it smaller, and we're just going to paint in. The reason I'm doing this is that I I prefer that kind of painted line uh, because we can clean it up a lot easier uh, than I do. There you go. Look. And we can put it on X. And we can start. You start really low down when you've got a very soft brush, so that you're you're painting out little tiny bits at a time. There you go. And then paint them back in again, so that they just so that they work for you. And that takes that harsh line away, and it gives us a little bit of definition on the mountains, uh, because this is going to be our. our uh, a mountain layer, uh, so that's that's important. Uh, that's uh, that, that, right. Uh, so we want that as the mountain layer, but we don't want it as the foreground layer. Because the foreground layer is that one, and it kind of looks a bit right. And there's a, actually quite a lot of definition in in there that we don't get in the other one. Um, so we'll put this back on, and all we're going to do is layer uh, layer mask reveal all. We're going to take our brush again and I'm just going to paint out um, bits of that that we don't want so that we've got a nice sort of separation uh, between all of this stuff but yet there we go. So that's kind of where I'm starting from um, and I'm not going to save this because I've already done it before. So let's close this down, not saving it, and we'll go back into Lightroom, which is over here, and we'll open up this, and that is kind of where I got the the thing. In fact, you can see I changed this around a little bit when I was playing around with it. But the idea is is that that you stack elements and then you bring out the ones in particular layers. Now this is a little it's a little bit Ansel Adams for the for the net generation. Um, that's uh, that's where I'm kind of getting it from. Okay, let's go through our settings. Very, very basic. We want to pull up the, um, uh, the, the yellows here because we want something which is very yellowy. Uh, we are going to pull up the reds here as well because again, uh, yeah, uh, we want this kind of golden hour feel to it because it's golden hour when I took it. I'm going to take the, the that down just a little, 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 little bit. Um, under a under a stop, but just enough so that when we add in uh, elements that are brighter, that they they really get pushed out rather than what they have in there. Uh, contrast is fine. Highlights, shadows, uh, whites and blacks will do the same that we do every other time. Now, you might notice here that I didn't. I, I'm not worried about this clipping. We're used to seeing a very bright sun that clips. 
we're, we're perfectly all right with that. I uh, will take black stain as well. Uh, there and again, it's just it's not a lot. Look, it's just a little bit of, of of black clipping in there. That's perfectly fine. We'll take the texture up. I like putting the texture up. I know some people don't, uh, but I I quite like having those really nicely textured things. And I'm going to dehaze this a little bit as well. Not much, just about there. Okay. Um, saturation we want to put up we want we want to with well, the vibrance of the saturation because it's that golden hour shot we want that to be really kind of uh kind of in your face uh so that's going up to something like that and this will go up to something like that there we go um Coming down to the other ones, this is where it really gets starts to get exciting on shots like this because we're going to play with the saturation here. Uh, reds, we want redder, um, which means we'll put those up to kind of here. Uh, yellows, we want yellowier, um, again, kind of here. And these, well, sorry, oranges, I should have said oranges, but essentially we want the same thing for the yellows as well, so we'll pull those there. Now, with that, I quite like it, but the colours aren't quite the colours that I wanted to have. There's not too much that we'd have to do. Uh, but over here in the hue box, you can actually control those colours a little bit more. So you can take the reds and you can change the colour of that of that red. And what I want to do, I want to pull it down probably about there. And I'm going to take the, the oranges and I'm going to pull that down... Probably about there, and like like everything that you do on this, I'm kind of I'm eyeballing this, so I don't exactly know what I'm going to do before I do it. But this is that's kind of where I wanted it, I think. Um, right, I can go down to the next bit. We don't need to do any any of our split toning on this particular uh, image. Um, I'm going to put in a hundred there, so that we're as sharp as we possibly can be. Uh, but again, this was shot. Um, the way this was shot means we don't need to do anything else to it apart from things like that. Now, this was... Okay, so because I've merged the layer, it suddenly doesn't know what lens I've used. Uh, so I'm going to set that up here. It was a Nikon lens. It was a... Which one? Um, it is on here. Uh, 18 to 200 is not. It's the 18 to 300, but that'll do. See, that'll do. That, that works it's roughly good enough. Um, yeah, that'll do. Um, vignetting, if you want anything in the in the vignetting, we'll we'll pull the, we'll put a vignette on, but it doesn't need to be. That's the wrong button. Put a vignette on, but it doesn't need to be anything too much. Something like that, uh, just to sort of pull that that thing around, and that's a basic edit done nice and relatively simple and actually a lot of people would kind of leave it there and go that's all right it doesn't look too bad actually it doesn't look too bad at all uh but we'll do um the things that we normally do i'm going to start off actually here by using this now I, I normally would go to here and we would crop but actually i've cropped this in photoshop because it's a better idea to crop in photoshop than to pull it back into there you would align everything in photoshop when you're doing anything anyway um so we're starting off over here uh we'll pull something down uh like so let's get that straight now little tip hold down the shift key when you're making these and you can't do that with it uh it'll it'll keep it keep it sort of angled and everything um actually I, I think what I want to do oh that's let's start again shall we I want something like this now with these this box here controls the height of the fade really and this line is the start the point where it's starting to really fade out uh, so I want this kind of here, um, and when it, we're not going to push the exposure in there, but what we do want is to push the uh, colours in here, uh, so that they're a lot more yellowier than than they would be. They're a lot more uh, sunsettier than than we want. We're going to pull this up as well. Uh, again, doesn't need to be a lot, but just suddenly you can see the details in there. That's what we were after. Uh, we'll take the clarity down on this though uh, as well. 
uh, quite a long way. Now, again, you've got the detail in there, you've pulled the detail out, and then you're just backing the detail off so that it looks like a uh, a, a more um, sunsetty shot. Skies aren't really well defined, and it's kind of uh, some people do it, and, and I've done it before. You know, you have these really nicely defined uh, clouds. Not always the best thing to do. You've got to kind of work to what you think is right. Anyway, so that's what I've done. Pull, pull that down. Dehaze that. That's that's good. Happy with that. Um, next. We'll do the similar sort of thing at the bottom, only uh, this will be, again, we'll pull this out there. We can make this like that. Uh, we'll bring this up to right there. And this one, we'll take those off. We are actually going to just uh, take down the double clicking on effect. It takes all your effects off. Really simple thing to do. Uh, pull the exposure down there. A little bit, so you've got this kind of you're you're focusing you on the uh, on the inner bit of the uh, image. I mentioned this when we were doing the secret forest uh, videos. Um, it it just draws your eye to the things that you wanted to tr people to have their eyes drawn to. That's the important thing. Very very simple. Uh, now we're going into uh, radial gradients. Like I said, favourite part of the process. We're going to make uh, something here because we're going to want to highlight this. Let's just angle it a little bit. Uh, what we'll do here, though, is we'll pull up the clarity. Remember, last time when we were in the secret forest, we were pushing up the um, uh, the dehaze so that we could get we got more blacks, we got more shape in the in the blacks. Now we're doing the clarity so that we're actually pulling in more. Uh, it's actually lightening the 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 area up a little bit, uh, and uh, we're also going to push this up a stop or so as well. Um, that that'll do uh, and again let, let's just see that uh, before and after before and after so you can see what we're what we're kind of doing here uh, we'll want a similar thing on this background up here so I'm just I'm literally gonna just duplicate this and pull it up there you don't need to spend long doing this as long as what you're getting out of it is actually the sort of image that you want um, I'll do that something like this here and again it's just pulling up bits of the landscape so that it feels kind of right you know um well i'm going to push this th th there we go that better uh push the, that up there a bit which is fine you can do that you're allowed uh we'll take this one again and we're just going to highlight so the next thing we want to highlight is this bit here uh, so we'll grab this there do that Pull it in a little bit, perhaps, but uh, you don't need to go too far on things like that. Now, this is where it gets complicated. Uh, what we want to do is really brighten up this. Uh, air I'm pointing at the screen; you can't see it. We really want to brighten up this area here, but we don't necessarily want to brighten up this bit here. So I'm going to take a massive new brush, like so, uh, and we'll pull it so that it's. Where are we about? Out like that. We can just angle a touch. There we go. All right, and then we're going to take our brush, and I'm going to do this before we do any anything else. Uh, and I'm just going to up the game here a little bit. And oops, oops, wrong way around. Erase, erase. And I'll push the feather up a bit here as well, and you'll see why in a sec. So I'm just going to take this kind of these bits out here because these bits are kind of where I want them I don't want to do too much to here I want I want all of this effect to be over here um, like like so so we're really just working on this little bit over here uh, we'll double click on effects so that we get back to to absolutely nothing and we're gonna push this up um, quite a quite a long way both of these up quite a long way and look at what that's doing Look at that's pulling up this um, the oranges and the yellows in here, and uh, maybe we could brighten this up just as much as well. There we go, and it's giving that that 
golden hour look without having any of the um sort of the the uh, light trails that we'd normally get from from that as well uh, that that you'd have to mask out we've got that golden hour look so i'm pretty pleased with that i think that's a uh, that's a good way forward um we want to highlight this ground as well that's going to be something else that's a new brush there uh which we can do kind of like this kind of like that kind of like there we want that kind of coverage that's possibly the wrong angle there we go that's better that's better and what we're really wanting to work on here is uh clarity so i'm going to put a little bit of contrast into the, into the tiny little bit of contrast the main thing that we're going to do here is actually up the clarity um and you see now what i was saying about that up the area so it looks like it's a lot brighter than it was um take that down to there we're also going to dehaze this a little bit and that's going to bring in some of those blacks again so that's going to take out some of that uh harshness this you see you could, actually that works as well because of where the angle of the light is and everything it kind of looks like the the light is lighting that patch of ground up but i don't want it to be too uh distracting so we'll, we'll pull that to there um i don't think we need to do anything else with that i think that's 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 done and actually i think there we have it that is our image um i was quite pleased with this one this is the first uh big um uh, landscape shot that i did and actually i i, I thought that it worked particularly well uh, a lot of people have said they like it so i'm pretty pleased with that anyway uh, if you've liked what you've seen today don't forget to tell all of your friends about it because that really helps the channel uh do like comment subscribe i'd love to hear what you think about th the final image and of course don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so that every time i put up a video you're going to get told straight away um next time uh, there's an, another photo trip coming out next week. I hope you're going to enjoy that one uh, as well. I've certainly enjoyed making all of these uh, throughout the year, and, and uh, I'm really glad that uh, there are people out there who really seem to like them. So thank you very much for that. Uh, I'll see you next time. Uh, but until then, why not try something like this yourself? Because you can get out there and do these shots. OK, it's, it's winter at the moment, so you might not be able to get exactly the same sort of shots, but I bet you can get something pretty amazing. And I bet editing in, in Lightroom um, would uh, it, it's not quite as difficult as a lot of people uh, seem to tell you that it is. Anyway, that's it for me. I'll see you next week. Don't forget to subscribe. That's the big thing. Subscribe. Don't forget, subscription is the big thing that you have to remember. And if you can do, subscribe. But if you can't, just subscribe. OK, subscribe. See you next week.